That's a clip from a song just out last week. It's called Without Blue, a touching music video in support of police officers all over the country. Of course, it takes on added meaning today as we watch the funeral of Fox Lake officer Joe Glenowitz. And here with us to talk about that song is Terry Sweet, the Milwaukee-based composer. Terry, thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. And I wondered... Um, what made you write that song? I was watching the news, uh, seeing the events unfold in Ferguson and then Baltimore, and I saw the anti-police rhetoric getting more intense and the, the violence against them, and it was just a visceral reaction to the whole thing. And I wanted people to, I wanted law enforcement people to know that somebody would speak on their behalf. Sometimes you can't say things for yourself, somebody else has to say it. And so I kind of wanted to be that voice to, to speak up for them. But I also wanted to speak up for the people who might be left vulnerable in, in communities where the police are becoming less proactive or whatever. Crime is going up in 30 of those cities across the country. That's not good for those people. So they're, they're increasingly vulnerable and uh, that's upsetting. We only heard about 15 or 20 seconds of the song. Mm -hmm. uh, describe maybe some of the lyrics that you're you're proud of that we could understand maybe uh, in terms of the way you're trying to uh, put this message out there well I try it, the song goes back and forth be, between kind of painting here's some of the here's some of the stuff going on but here's some of the wonderful things that law enforcement people do every day so we, yeah. we go back and forth so it's sort of an a and B uh, structure to the song right and so far it's only been out there about a week or so what has mm -hmm. the reaction been like it's been almost exclusively overwhelmingly positive because it is a touchy topic very touchy topic yeah. uh, I'll, I'll admit I was a little bit nervous when I put it out there first when I clicked it and went okay upload to Facebook right uh, I went okay let's see what happens and it, immediately people started writing and they were thanking me mm. for saying that for speaking up for police and people said it's Finally, somebody's sticking up for the cops. Right. And that sort of thing is yeah, extremely gratifying. Right. Now, th this song is available for folks if they want to purchase it, and you're, yeah. tr you're trying to develop a component where some of those funds will, will go to some sort of charity. What, what's your concept here? Well, the concept is that as we, and when I say we, I've got a little bit of a team, the video people uh, and, and a couple of other close advisors here. Uh, as, as we worked through this, we realized that this is not something that we should be trying to make money on. Right. Uh, this is something that the proceeds from this ought to go to police-related memorial funds or or like the families of fallen police officers or something like that. We don't quite, this, this is so new, we're, we're <laughs> trying to develop this fundraising model as fast as we can. I've got a couple smart people doing it. Uh, we'll have it up in a week or two, but that's what we're going to use the money for. Great. In the meantime, where should folks go if they want to listen to this song? We just, just put up a website. It's called withoutblue.org. Okay. The .org is the important thing there, withoutblue.org. All right. Trey, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I know a lot of folks will be uh, checking that song out today. Thank you, Corey. All right. Thank you so much. You. We appreciate it. Thank All right. You. Time for a quick break. Much more of Good Day Chicago on the other side. Stay with us. Who's going to be there when you call without blue?